Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is what they don't want you to know. All right, jumping straight into it with the tarot for Gemini. What does a Gemini's person want them to know, Spirit? And this is for whoever's on your mind. What does a Gemini's person want them to know? All right. We have the Five of Cups. Again, this is a theme today. People from the past are, are just, or even if you're dealing with this person now, someone's disappointed about how things went with you. They're crying over spilled milk. Five of Cups. They're crying over spilled milk. They want you back. <laughs> yeah, the hanged man, but they're withholding. But they are seeing things from um, both perspectives. They're looking at things from your perspective now. And that is why they're disappointed. They're seeing things from your side. They've looked at things from both sides, your side and theirs. But you know, there's always three sides. There's your side, their side, and the truth. So this person is taking time to gain enlightenment about the situation. And I just heard they're sorry. They're sorry. I don't know what they did to you, but they're sorry. They're crying. And all I keep hearing is they're sorry. They're sorry. They're sorry. And then the hermit card, Virgo, they're hiding their face. They're in hermit mode. They're in hiding. The hangman and the hermit, this person is hiding out. And it could be um, a Pisces or a Virgo. Overall energy is the four of wands. They're in the house, hiding out, crying over you, sad, de depressed, I guess. Because, I mean, if you're in the house crying and thinking about one thing all day, that sounds like depression to me. <laughs> or, the, you know, the five of cups is mourning. They're mourning this loss and they're seeing things. From all per angles, all perspective, they see things from your perspective now. And all they keep saying is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But they're hiding their face. They're ashamed. I guess they're very ashamed of what they did, what they said, how things went with the hermit. Yeah, like they're hiding their face. And, I, and also with the hermit, they're trying to seek inner wisdom, inner guidance. They're trying to work and gain this enlightenment and clarity, excuse me, on the situation. <clears throat> and I think, of course, I think they've seen the light. And that's just making them more ashamed. They want to hide themselves, hide their face. Clarify this message for Gemini. Clarify for Gemini. <laughs> A last shuffle. You guys know when I first started YouTube, I didn't know how to shuffle. I had to learn from a YouTube channel. And when I started tarot, I did not know how to shuffle cards at all. Clarifying the four, I mean, five of cups is the wheel of fortune. Yeah, this person wants a new cycle with you. King of cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, strong Pisces. The fool card, Aquarius. Yeah, this person wants a new beginning with you. The wheel of fortune and the fool. They want a whole new cycle with you. They really, really, really do. <laughs> Claire, it, it doesn't have to be a, a water sign, by the way. It could be any sign. Clarifying the hangman is the knight of wands. I feel like this person was non-committal and flighty, uh, in and out. If you were married, this person was probably a promiscuous. Um, if this person was a cheater, you would know. This isn't like a um. This is what they don't want you to know. And but I feel like the thing that they don't want you to know is that they are sorry. And they secretly cry about this and think about you day and night. So if there was like cheating, this person is sorry. They regret it and they're ashamed. We have the page of Pentacles. This person is hoping for some type of friendship with you. 
I don't know if you have an earth sign, child, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then we have the emperor. Yeah, so um, Aries energy. This person could be a father. You could be a father. I, I'm definitely feel, feeling parental energy here. Maybe this person had an absent father. But... This person definitely wants a new beginning with you, especially if you have a child with this person. I feel like this person, they're a father, but they weren't acting like one, even if they're not a father. It's like they want to go from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor. Or maybe this person was trying to be controlling, but they weren't stable. But I feel, I feel more so that this person, they want to go from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor. Because especially clarifying the hangman, seeing both sides of a situation and gaining enlightenment. They want a new beginning to prove this to you, that they can be the emperor. Now, whether it's male, female, whatever, the emperor is just someone who does, handles business. Could be the matriarch of the family, could own a business or be in a managerial position. Someone who's in control of themselves, in control. The The CEO. <laughs> Clarifying the Hermit is the Death card. Scorpio, a lot of major arcana here. So that, and trust and believe with the Hermit clarified by the Death card, this person is going within or they have gone within and had a whole total death and rebirth and seeking inner guidance from themselves, enlightenment, spiritual awakening and enlightenment. So this person is going through the change. Dark night of souls and all that. Nine of swords, energy, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. Do not think this is a walk in the park for this person at all. This person is going through it, through it, and through it. This is a dark night of the soul with the nine of swords, the death card, and the hermit. And they're in the house going through it all by themselves. <clears throat> and then the strength card, but they're going to push through it. They could be a Leo. Overall energy is the nine of cups. I mean... But this is what they want to do for you. They see you as wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands as both the overall energy. They're going to do it for you. And then underneath the Four of Wands is the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. Underneath the Nine of Cups, they see you as a missed opportunity. They are going to reach out to you, but they are going to do the work first. And they want to prove to you that they can go from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor. Now, that's going to take work, but they're going to do it. <laughs> Because they, they love you, they want to be with you, they want to marry you, or they want to move in with you, or something like that. They want some type of strong foundation with you, with the Four of Wands. So it's up to you what you decide to do, but this is a what they don't want you to know reading. And what they don't want you to know is, I mean, this last rose was really killing me. I mean, the Hermit... It's fine. That's seeking inner wisdom and guidance. But when you got the death card and the nine of swords, that means they're just, I mean, at least they're trying to find their way out and they're not trying to drag anybody else into it. You know, they're really doing the work. And with the strength card, they're giving it their all and they're, they're going to try their best. Again, it's up to you what you decide to do. It's your life. But I'm just letting you know that they, they're not enjoying themselves. If you think they are, they are not. They first of all, the five of cups, the first card out, they're they're mourning this loss, this breakup, and they do want a new beginning. Clarifying the five of cups is the wheel of fortune and the fool. They really they are doing the work. They are crying over this. Everything that you think they're doing or you they or you think that they should be doing, they are doing it. They are regretting this. 100% and they do wish to come back and be with you and fix this especially if you have a child together and I'm not saying it's because of the child I'm just saying that because I see the page of pentacles and the emperor so I'm seeing it as like a, a parent all right so that is what they don't want you to know Gemini if you like these rings the link is in the description box below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or share. Namaste.